Y'all, there is literally so much tea right now. I can't even. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are gonna unbox the July Birch Box. You guys wanna see what I got in here. Is this better than last month's box? Well, definitely keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave a timestamp down below if you guys just wanna go straight to the unboxing. But y'all, I just have a couple things I need to talk about first because it has just been a day, first and foremost. I'm just, I'm literally just so excited. Raw Beauty Chrissy just announced her first collaboration with Pure Cosmetics. It's actually gonna release this Sunday on my 12 year anniversary with Corey. She's releasing an 18 piece press pigment shadow with two 3D lashes, y'all best believe I'm gonna be buying every single item in there. And I might buy double for a giveaway because it's Robity Christie and I'm gonna give her my money. I feel, I'll just give her a big account. I mean, it's not like it's much, but I mean, it's really not much. I mean, it barely even has three digits in it. So <laughs> it's enough to get me by every month. Oh my God, she'd probably laugh if she saw my bank account. Well, didn't even think about that. But uh, I'm just so beyond excited for her, but we'll get into that in that video. Secondly, I know you guys are gonna ask me this. I know you guys can talk about my DMs and I know you guys can talk about in the comments section. Yes, I saw the announcement that Morphe is dropping all of JSC products. Whoa, that is really insane. They're dropping everything. Now I looked on the website, the only thing I see on there right now is Bloodlust. I could be wrong, there could be a lot more stuff on there right now, but I'm only seeing Bloodlust and like his Morphe collection. I didn't see any other product. So I know a lot of people out there do not want to support him. However, if you guys do wish to get any of his stuff, I'm pretty sure they might put that stuff on sale to get it cleared out. So I would definitely head over to Morphe Check it out just to see if there's anything on discount, anything on sale that you guys might want to grab before it's just gone from Morphe because Morphe does offer afterpay as well. So that's just a food for thought in case somebody wants to get their palettes because I know quite a few people reach out to me asking me which palette they should get since they are seeing it on sale like on Beauty Bay and stuff like that. So I figured this would be like a quick little announcement for you guys. But what I'm so excited about is that guys, my wonderful friend Chelsea just opened her new business. In yesterday's video, I had talked about Benny's Boutique and I told you guys how I love supporting small businesses and indie brands. And well, my beautiful friend Chelsea just started or just launched her first business today. So let me go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so if you guys are Disney fanatic, like myself, then I highly recommend checking out Magically Unwind. And what this is, it is a candle put into a wine glass. Now the best part about this is that you have a wonderful scented candle. Oh my God, this is pumpkin pie and this is Bippity Boppity Boost. And on the back it has a Cinderella, the, the carriage, and then it has a little logo magically unwind on here. And this is the pumpkin carriage. But the best thing about this is that once the candle completely melts, it melts down, it turns into a drinking wine glass. How freaking cool is that? This is all Chelsea's idea. She thought that'd be so cool to have a wine glass, but instead of just having just a plain old wine glass, to spice it up, put a candle inside it, let it burn until it melts down to nothing, and then have just a beautiful wine glass to go with it. Now, I think that is so cool. They have some really cool sayings, like this one's called A Drink Worth Fighting For from Mulan. This is like they said, this is the Cinderella. And then the coolest one is the one from Olaf that says, I like cold drinks. And this does smell like cinnamon and vanilla twist. And this is called the Worth Melting For collection. And like I said, her site is called Magically Unwind. She just launched today, like just launched today. I'm so excited. Now, the coolest thing about her collection is that just in case you guys don't want to buy the candle, but you do want to have the wine glass, you can buy the design and the wine glass completely separately. So she'll have like these two, say they both are saying the same thing. One's the candle, one's the wine glass. You could buy both. You could buy the wine glass, you could buy the candle, whatever you guys want. I think they're so freaking cool. Now the wine glasses right here, they do retail for $15. The candles inside retail for $25. Now shipping does vary because she is a small business. She's shipping everything out with her own money. So shipping does vary depending on your location. And these are made to order. Just so you guys know, these are made to order. Now she does have five launching right now. She has a bell that's tail as old as 
is wine. She has my favorite, which is the Tangled series, which is At Last I See the Wine. She has a Buzz Lightyear, she has a Woody, and she has a Haunted Mansion. Now the best thing about her is that she does custom make the scent to go along with like the character if that makes any sense the haunted mansion will have like a musty scent to go like with a like an old ancient musty scent this smells like a pumpkin because the pumpkin carriage this is going to smell like a cherry blossom that's going to be inside here and she literally has so many ideas right now her quantity is very limited because she does make these per order and then as soon she's going to expand and go further beyond than just disney she's going to have like a friends theme she'll have like a harry potter theme lord of the rings star wars like she wants to have a whole collection i think it's so freaking cool and I'm so proud of her so guys please go check her out if you love Disney if you want to have a really cool custom made wine glass with a candle inside it, or just a wine glass definitely go check it out especially if you guys are a huge Disney fanatic like myself go support my amazing friend go follow her on Instagram magically unwind right here she's such a beautiful person I'm so so proud of her and I'm so grateful to get my hands on these seriously amazing smelling candles you guys have no idea like I specifically am so glad that she gave me this one empty because I'm already ready to go pour a drink in here because it's definitely a wine worth fighting for. Just gonna go ahead and throw that out there. So freaking cool. So Chelsea, congratulations on your brand new business. I'm so excited to see you grow. And like I said, guys, go check her out magically unwind all right so for today's unboxing we are going to dive into our july edition of birch box now i got the one from june last month and i thought it was pure shit did not care for it so hopefully this month will be a lot better but we shall see um this month they titled enjoy your day ally dawson <laughs> You know, birch box, I think I will. I really do think I will. Especially because I am wearing my favorite, 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 wink, wink, hint, hint, wink, ugly ass wink at ya. <laughs> favorite lip gloss of all times and that is my Fenty Beauty Fenty gloss. This is literally my favorite gloss. I wear this in every single video. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I do not go a day without this being not only in my pocket. I have a spare in my purse. I have a spare in my desk and I have two more in my collection for how much I really do love these Fenty glosses. They are my favorite, favorite lip gloss. Okay. Hint, hand. God, that's like the ugliest freaking wink I've ever seen. It probably scares people. <laughs> but this is my favorite. Fenty gloss. Fenty gloss. <laughs> Alright, so this is this month's box. It's, it's cute. Like a little plain purple box. A little bit of waves on there. It looks like somebody painted it themselves. I think it's super cute. This month, we challenge you to spend an extra two minutes applying body lotions after your shower. We know it, it's an easy step to skip over, but your hands and knees and elbows need some love too. Damn. How do they know I, do? I skip the body lotion all the time? I put on body lotion right before I go to bed, but I mostly put on my legs. I never lotion my elbows. I mean, I guess I lotion my knees when I'm lotioning my legs. But my hands do get lotioned all the time because these babies get dry like there's no tomorrow. Alrighty. So the first item that I see in here is from Orbribe? Or, or Orbibe. Orbibe. Dry texturing spray. A oh, dry texturizing spray. Shake spray where you want volume. Style to desire finish and hold. And a brilliant alternative to dry shampoo. Oh shit, that, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It just sprayed my microphone. Don't dry. Oh, that's too short, I can't reach that. Damn it. Oh my god. Mm, that smells so good. So, is this like a... Oh my god, is this going to be like a dry shampoo? So is this like a dry shampoo? I mean, it's a texturizing spray, but it can be considered like a dry shampoo. It's an alternative to dry shampoo, but wow. That smells really, really good. I'm definitely going to have to get this a try, especially because my hair gets greasy like there's no tomorrow. Like I said, I'm super oily, and I'm sure you guys are so tired. Like, yes, Allie, we know. But not only does my face get really oily, but my hair... It's disgusting. The next item is from... Floss, this is my everyday eyeshadow. 
this little guy right here. I mean, I guess it's cute. It's like an everyday eyeshadow right here. I think this might be a full size product. I typically notice that Floss, I think it's gonna be like a drugstore brand. I could be wrong. But I notice when it comes to their particular products, they do tend to put, um, full size products in here for floss, like lip glosses and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my No Waste Wednesday because I know I'm never gonna end up using that. Just personally, I'm not the biggest fan of neutral colors. I wear them, yeah, of course I do, but I particularly prefer color. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my No Waste Wednesday. This item is from Luxie. This is Luxie 245 Small Shader Brush. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh, it's kind of stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna lie you guys. I really do like Luxie brushes. I think Luxie brushes are so good And I think they're really affordable. I get a lot of questions a lot of times asking me like can you name something other than just um, Bling brushes for affordable brushes. I do recommend Morphe brushes. I really do enjoy them I also enjoy my real technique brushes I enjoy BH cosmetic brushes and I do enjoy Luxie brushes So there are great variety of brushes that are just as good as bling brushes I just I don't like bring brushes too much because they're just so like bougie and they make me feel like I'm rich something I'll never know so that's why I love them so much because they really are a wonderful brand the brushes last for a lifetime they just feel so good in the skin they blend out beautifully I, I don't know why I'm selling you guys on these brushes y'all already know how much I love them I don't need to keep telling them to you guys because y'all already know the next product is from beauty protector protect and detangle leave and detangler oh okay It smells like vanilla, like a vanilla cherry. It smells really good. Um, I definitely don't mind using detanglers right now. I'm using my Reckon um, one, it's like an all-in-one spray product. It's actually really good. So I'll get, definitely give this a go because like I said, since I just freshly dyed my hair, my hair can be a little tingly at, at times. So this would be a good product to try out. The um, last product, because they really, really outdid themselves this month, is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. Now, this is actually really funny. A long time ago, like a year ago, I was contacted by a company called Aaliyah Skincare, and when I first got it, I thought I was originally getting the Sand and Sky Pink Clay Mask, and then I saw that it was a different brand. I was like, oh my God, I said yes to the wrong brand, but they don't even know that I exist. They don't, neither does Aaliyah Skin, because Aaliyah Skin actually reached out to me three times at this point asking me to review their product, and every single time I send them my video and go, I've already done this, and yet you guys refuse to acknowledge it, but thank you so much for reaching out to me. They never respond back to my email, maybe because it's kind of petty, but <laughs> don't keep emailing me asking to review your same product when I've already done it a year ago, and y'all ignore me the first time. But um, I'm really, I've always wanted to give this product a try. I've always heard such good things about it. So I'm definitely excited to give this particular product a try. Um, they really, really outdid themselves this month when it comes to uh, products. They just put five sample size, I believe, products in here. I think this might be a full size right here of products. And that's it. Um, <laughs> honestly, I'm... A little disappointed. I want to say I'm irritated, but at the same time, uh, honestly, I think this box is starting to be more of a a waste than a profit. I don't know how to work that properly on it. Like I spend literally thirteen dollars a month on Birchbox. You have three different tiers you can get. You could do thirteen, fourteen, or fifteen dollars a month on Birchbox. For me, seeing as how I get a lower beauty, which is $15 a month as well, but you do get two, three, sometimes four full-size products, then with like a scattered sample size product store in between, it's so hard for me to justify Birchbox because at this point, it literally is just sample sizes. And I'm spending $13, $2 less than a lower beauty to get only sample sizes where lower beauty likes to add full size in there. So it's really hard for me to be like, wow, this box is so amazing when I just, I don't know. I'm kind of just like now regretting getting it uh, just because I'm just like, damn, it's just only sample size products. And as cool as they are to try out some small things, they're just not as wowing. Now, I didn't mind spending the $10 a month on my Play by Sephora because it literally was products that are sold at Sephora. And I got introduced to so many amazing brands that I was so grateful for that box. I really, really enjoyed my Sephora, Play by Sephora, because especially since that was $10. This is 13 and the highest tier is 15. If you just do Birch Box and like month to month is 15. But if you do like a contracted, like a six month, 12 month, then it varies in prices. Like 12 months is 13, six months is 14. And then 
every month to month is 15. I think spending $15 on sample size items is just kind of not worth it in my personal opinion. So especially if you guys can go to like Ipsy, I think Ipsy's like $12 a month for sample size products. Plus you get a makeup bag. So I definitely don't recommend Birchbox at this point. Uh, a lot of you guys told me in the comment section that you guys have actually canceled your Birchbox. I'm thinking about doing the exact same thing. These videos are fun to film. Personally, I just enjoy them. But these products tend to just go, these products tend to just go to waste just because they're just not really that enjoyable. I mean, I guess you consider this brush full size, you know, hey, I won't complain, full size product. I really appreciate it. I think this one is, ah, I think the floss one is too, but again, I'm just, I'm not wowed. I'm not wowed anymore. <laughs> so um, I mean, as much as I enjoy doing these unboxings, I just don't know if I should keep spending $13 a month on a box that just doesn't really, really excite me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether I should keep getting it just because you guys want to see a video or if I should go ahead and cancel it. I really, really want to hear your opinion because if you guys want me to keep filming these videos, absolutely, I have no problem doing that. But if you guys are like, nah, just cancel it, let me know as well in the comments below. Also, totally, totally random. I just want to thank whoever reached out to With Love Cosmetics. Um, I got an email this morning from With Love Cosmetics saying that they were sent my um, green palette video and they wanted to apologize to me for reaching out to me last year, offering me a discount code and then never falling through with it. And they wanted to apologize for that happening. And so now I have a discount code with, <laughs> with Love Cosmetics. It's just code Allie to save you guys, I think, it's 5% off, maybe it's 10. They never told me the exact number. I, I wanna say it's five, that's why I remember pages being was five. But um, yeah, whoever reached out to With Love Cosmetics and sent them my video, thank you so much. Completely unexpected. I actually saw that email this morning and I had like probably like a five minute laughing session because I just couldn't get over the fact that someone did that for me and I thought it was like the sweetest gesture in the world. It definitely wasn't what I was looking for by any means. Like I didn't care if I had a discount code with them or not. I love the brand so much and I'm gonna continue to support the brand because I just think that their pressed glitters are just they're just out of this world. They're so freaking amazing. Like I love their press glitters so much. And I, I wish I could just buy everything in that collection and just give it all to you guys so you guys would know exactly what I'm talking about. But um, whoever reached out to them, thank you so much. Completely did not expect that. So thank you for making my morning. It really made my day. And I just, I'm in, in such a good mood today. I think, I couldn't even tell you I'm in such a good mood. I just feel so like, Let's ready to party. And I just, I'm just so, uh, I'm so alive and awake and I just wanna go adult coloring. I'm wearing one of my favorite sweaters right now. This is the B happy sweater uh from save lands if you guys oh my god i feel like this video is just full of me telling you guys all my favorite products but if you guys get a chance go check out save lands on, on instagram every single piece of item that you buy for them like whether it's a, a tank top whether it's a sweater whether it's a t-shirt every single item that you buy from them they plant 12 trees like how insane with that you get like an actual certificate of guarantee that your purchase of one sweater had them plant 12 trees so freaking cool and these sweaters are one of the most comfortable sweaters in the entire world. I literally wore this my entire trip to go get Koa. So when you guys watch that video, you guys are gonna see me wearing this sweater almost the entire time because it is just that comfortable. I sleep in this sweater, I live in this sweater, and I actually have like six other sweaters from this company, but this one in particular is just like one of my favorites. <laughs> so go check out Save Lands. Um, go check out my wonderful friend, Chelsea Magically Unwind. I'll have her linked down below. And I'm so sorry this video sounds all about preachy and selling to you. That's not my intent at all. I'm just, I'm in a really good mood. I just wanna give back to the world. I wanna support everybody that I love and my friends and yeah. So um, hopefully you guys got my um, favorite product hint today. And uh, let me know in the comments below, like I said, what, what you guys wanna do about Birchbox. If you guys want me to keep doing it, cancel it. It's completely up to you guys. I'm like, y'all decide my fate. So <laughs> that is it for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post every day, every other day, just depending. Also, make sure you guys head over to my other channels, R4 Life. You guys can see my cool, wonderful adventures, Macy and fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye. Sometimes I just want to be happy. Don't hold on against me. Sometimes I don't wanna be happy. Don't hold it against me.
video, we are gonna box. <laughs> Y'all, there is just so much tea right now. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> She's, eight, she's releasing an 18 pan pressed shad. I, partic I particularly prefer everyday, I particularly, 